I'm standing in one of our 4R nitrogen management trials. Of course, the 4Rs of nitrogen management include the right rate, the right form, the right place, and the right time. Ideally, nitrogen should be applied at the time of seeding, either side-banded or mid-row banded. Farmers get pressed for time and want to do fall applications of nitrogen. If you apply nitrogen too early in the fall, you run the risk of having that urea converted into nitrate and then it's prone to loss through denitrification. This is when the bugs under water, waterlogged conditions use the nitrate as an oxygen source. If you apply it when the soils cool down, then you slow the conversion of urea to nitrate. So ideally you want to apply it late in fall when soils are below 5 degrees Celsius. Now, of course, there are instances where producers are even broadcasting urea on top of snow, which is really not a recommended practice, which really leaves the nitrogen prone to loss. So this trial looks at urea being broadcasted at different times in the fall, either early fall, late fall, or on 10 centimeters of snow. And it also makes the comparison with Super U. Super U is urea that's treated in such a, such a way that it is protected against volatilization losses and also denitrification losses. So all of these broadcast applications are being compared to urea sidebanded at the time of seeding. Now earlier in the year when I was looking at the plots, the sidebanded urea treatment looked the greenest out there and some of the fall broadcast applications, particularly if they were on 10 centimeters of snow, looked a little more nitrogen deficient to me. So let's go see what the results turned out. Just before we get started on the results, I'd like to introduce to you Heather Sorstead. She's been our summer student for the last four years and now has recently graduated from the University of Saskatchewan with a major in agronomy. Heather is now hired on full-time as our research assistant. She's going to be much more involved in the development of our research program and extension. So in that light, I'll turn it over to Heather so she can explain some of the results from this demonstration. Thanks, Mike. The results from this demonstration pretty much met our expectations. The blue bars in the graph represent yield and the orange line represents grain protein. Treatment eight is urea side banded at seeding. This treatment produced more grain with higher protein than any of the fall applied nitrogen. This is not surprising because side banding at seeding is considered the ideal time and placement of, at, of nitrogen. Broadcasting nitrogen in fall is not ideal because it provides more opportunity for nitrogen to be lost through volatilization, denitrification, and leaching. Grain yield and protein were considerably less when urea was broadcasted in early fall on October the 2nd. Broadcasting in early fall provided more time for the urea to be converted to nitrate before freeze-up. Once nitrogen is in the nitrate form, it is more vulnerable to denitrification and leaching losses. Broadcasting nitrogen is also susceptible to volatilization. In the end, broadcasting urea in early fall resulted in 21.3 bushels per acre and 1.6% protein lost relative to the side banding at seeding. Broadcasting Super U instead of straight urea in early fall increased yield by 9.1 bushels per acre and 0.7% protein. Less nitrogen was lost using Super U treated urea because it provided more protection from volatilization, denitrification, and leaching. Broadcasting urea in late fall on October the 27th resulted in less nitrogen lost, more yield, and higher protein compared to the early fall application because there was less time for the urea to be converted into nitrate before freeze up. Again, the use of Super U instead of urea increased protein and yield, but the difference for the late fall application were more modest. Late fall banding of urea also produced good yield results. As banding protects urea from volatilization and inhibits the conversion of urea to nitrate. Yield and protein levels were also poor when urea was broadcasted in early winter on 10 centimeters of snow. This application happened on November the 5th, and this is how the field looked like at the time. 
Broadcasting urea in early winter on snow is not a recommended practice, as nitrogen losses with this timing can be quite high, particularly if the ground is frozen underneath the snow. Frozen ground impedes the movement of nitrogen into the soil, increasing the potential of nitrogen to be lost through volatilization and runoff in spring. Broadcasting Super U instead of urea at this time did little to improve the situation. Now here's Mike with the economics. The economic analysis I'm about to share with you is based off the following wheat prices, which were available from Yorkton on February 9th, 2018. At that time, there was a pretty good premium for protein. The costs for Super U and urea are based off of more recent pricing. So based off of those grain prices and nitrogen costs, the following graph was developed using yield and protein results, which Heather just covered. The bars represent the gross returns per acre minus the cost of urea or Super U, as the case may be for each treatment. Not surprisingly, side banding urea at seeding, which is the right time and place, provided the greatest economic returns by far. It provided $83 per acre more than the best fall treatment. Now, let's just consider the fall applications. Broadcasting Super U instead of urea increased economic returns by $40 per acre when applications were made in early fall but only increased returns by $12 an acre when applied in late fall. No economic benefit from using Super U over urea was observed when applications were broadcasted in early winter on 10 centimeters of snow. Banding urea provided the best economic return among fall treatments, but producers don't typically ban urea in fall. However, fall banding of anhydrous ammonia is certainly practice and would be a superior practice to broadcasting urea. In conclusion, it's clearly best to ban nitrogen at the time of seeding. If you need to fall broadcast urea, then apply urea in late fall to minimize the losses. If you wish to apply in early fall, then you really should consider using Super U to reduce the losses. Broadcasting in early winter on 10 centimeters of snow is risky practice. And in our experiment, the use of Super U at that time didn't help to cut the risk.